Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another love read. We're going to take a look and see your what your special person's next move or next actions they're going to take towards you and or this connection. Um, do keep in mind this reading is for entertainment only, meaning that it's not a personal read. If you are looking for something more personal, then feel free to reach out. All the details on how to book a reading with me will be in the show more section. Uh, but if it does resonate and it speaks to you, then don't forget to hit that like button to let me know. Be sure to stay subscribed to my channel because in doing so, you will be notified every time I release a new video here, which is usually weekly, sometimes twice a week. Now, for those of you who clicked on this reading, this is going to be for all water signs. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces, this is your reading. So if you have clicked on here today, I do believe that there is a message here waiting for you. We are going to kick off using three cards and then we will uh, further clarify these cards. So if you're new to my channel, uh, water signs, welcome to my channel. Hopefully this reading provides insight, clarity and guidance for your current situation. And if you are returning, guys, I love you. You know I love you. Thank you for all the love, the likes, the shares and just the support that you bring here to my channel. It really does mean the world. We're just waiting on one more card on what action your special person is going to take towards you. Okay, we've got our three cards. We've got the Father of Swords, the Son of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Okay, you could be connecting to a, a, an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the Son of Cups, we've got water energy as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's start here with the Father of Swords. So the Father of Swords... Um, is someone who is a great communicator. So I feel here, water signs, that the next move that your person is going to take is to maybe open up lines of communication. I also feel here that the Father of Swords, he's some kind of like genius. He's got bright ideas. Um, so this could be someone coming in sort of offering you solutions or providing solutions to maybe some problems that you might be encountering. This person wants to speak to you. They want to talk to you. They want to converse with you. Uh, the Father of Swords also brings mature and intelligent conversation. So I feel that uh, your person's next move is going to be conversations that are mature, that are intelligent. And the Father of Swords knows that the way to your heart is through communication is through compliments but this is genuine compliments you know the father of swords he doesn't muck around he doesn't play around there's a serious energy i mean look at his face look at look at his face look how serious he is so when this person is complimenting you or praising you they are genuine okay they're being serious okay they have good intentions With the Son of Cups here, I feel um, the Son of Cups represents a very romantic energy. So your special person's coming in with some kind of a romantic offer. This person may um, offer you their love. They may open up about how they feel or express how they feel. Again, this could just be through compliments as well here with these two cards. Could just be compliments like... Oh, I really like that dress you're wearing. Or, oh, I really love that haircut on you. Or, oh gosh, that cologne or that perfume smells divine. Now, this is someone who is complimenting you because it touches them and they know it's going to touch you as well. The Son of Cups is an energy of someone who really fancies you, who really likes you, and they want to take action to maybe move this relationship in a much more romantic direction. If you are already coupled up with this person, okay, I feel that they want to maybe whisk you away for like a dirty little weekend or just a romantic date for two or just spend some quality time together. 
But the Son of Cups is an energy of someone, yeah, is very romantic. So think about all the things that uh, speak to romance, like open doors for you, okay? Book a restaurant for you. Uh, give you a massage, rub your feet, write love notes, okay, beautiful energy guys. Next card is the Three of Cups. Your special person wants to reunite with you here, okay? The Three of Cups speaks to reunions or celebrations. Maybe they want to go out and celebrate and have a good time with you here. For others of you, we can see three birds and there's like they're chatting, they're talking. So your special person wants to have some um, deeper, meaningful conversations with you here. They want to have some good times with you here. They might want to take you somewhere casually and just, you know, uh, talk over coffee or share stories over wine okay cup speaks to feelings and emotions so yeah perhaps a wine here would um, help this person really open up their emotions and talk about their feelings here with you the action that they want to take here is to show you that or treat you like your best friends or your really good friends because I see the three of cups as the good friends best friends card okay so let's let's expand okay we've got the death card here so for some of you this could be a Scorpio for others of you this could be someone like an ex someone from the past returning now death can also speak to changes and transformations so, excuse, excuse me, water signs. Um, the next move that this person wants to take is to show you or maybe tell you that they've changed or that they're ready for some kind of new beginning here. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Um, Earth signs got this card as well. For some of you, you could be connecting to a Taurus. Okay, there could be a Taurian here bringing in some romance. I feel like the next um, step or the next move that your special person is going to take is to move past an ending here. See, the Ten of Swords represents endings. Okay, they want to put the, the pain of the past behind. So it's something painful has happened here and they're ready to move past that. First of all, they had to overcome their own stubbornness or their, they had to overcome their fixed mindset. Because I see this bull as, and, and these swords as a fixed mindset. So they're breaking down their fixed ways. If they want something romantic here with you, if they want to maybe close the gap or have this beautiful merge or relationship with, here with you, they've had to overcome their own beliefs or thoughts here on what that maybe looks like for them so maybe this is someone who maybe for the longest time didn't like going out to dinner okay this is just an example maybe they didn't like going out to dinner uh, maybe they didn't like going for walks along the beach but it's like they've had to change their mindset or break down their own beliefs around what romance looks like or what they should do um, to bring romance. Because maybe for the longest time, this person didn't have a romantic bone in their body. Remember, this reading opened up with the Father of Swords. There's a seriousness coming through this Father of Swords. 
Okay, this person perhaps likes to connect through conversation or intelligent conversation. Maybe this person is very political, okay? Father of Swords, they're very fixed uh, with their views on things. Maybe they're very argumentative as well, but it's like they have to break this down in order to create the romance or the love <laughs> um, within this dynamic or connection. Daughter of Pentacles. So the Daughter of Pentacles to me represents someone who wants to come in and give you maybe a, an, an offer, a solid offer. They want to offer you something here, offer you something stable, offer you something more permanent. I feel like there is a romantic date on the cards here for you. The Daughter of Pentacles also is an energy of someone who likes to move slowly, but they like to get it right. So this person's next move when it comes to you is, especially to clarify the Three of Cups, is to get it right here with you, like to talk about things that are meaningful, to have meaningful conversations, to maybe take you somewhere where it's meaningful. Okay, to spend time with you um, at a venue or at a place that uh, brings about meaning. Mm. But I do see that uh, with the Daughter of Pentacles, they want to catch up here with you. They want to offer you up their time. They want to offer you up their listening ears. I'm looking at this Bambi and the ears of, you know, are standing straight up. And we can see three birds here and they're having a conversation. So this person is offering up their time, which is a valuable resource. And they're giving that to you. They want to offer that to you. They want to show you that they're there to hear you, to listen to you to ask you questions and get to know you or find out more about you. So that's all we have for you today, Water Signs. Hopefully this resonated. If it did, don't forget to give us a like. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.